Alright guys, we got the R. Larlo AK-917 Carbon Fiber Roller. So, showed up today, it was supposed to show up on the 15th and it showed up on the 12th. We got the red and white one, I thought I ordered the blue and orange one, I swear, but whatever. This is the box. Pretty detailed box. Just a bunch of pictures of the cars, really. I already took the car out of the box. Can't help it. But look at that. <clears throat> look at this. Check this out. I didn't know that the uh, rollers are going to come with the headlights, too. Like, it come with the headlights, come with the tail lights, even come with the exhaust. Come with the fan and the aluminum shroud. And I took the uh, protective plastic cover off. Oh. You know, the lights are wired in there, so is the fan. This is this side for now. Check that out. Center drive shaft. Carrier bearing. Got a little turnbuckles. Everything's adjustable. Adjustable shocks. It does sit pretty low. I mean, I can just get my finger underneath of it. So that's good. Might have to make a lower. It does have sway bars too, front and back. There's the front sway bar linkage. Has a spare tire. We're gonna take these wheels off of it. We're not gonna run these in this challenge. Just Cause we're gonna do the speed run challenge. I'm not really a red person, but everything on this is anodized red. So I guess we're gonna have to go with red. Hmm. But, you can see that's kind of cool too. <clears throat> Here's our little manual you get. Or I think this is just the pamphlet for all the parts they sell and upgrade parts. And just all their cars and all the aluminum stuff they have. And they got two new cars coming up. I've actually seen a video of this car already. It's not bad. It's not, I wouldn't say, I don't know. I ain't got to mess with it myself. The video made it not look too bad. Some guy over in China had it ready. But this is an instruction manual for the RTR. That's all your parts and everything. I have it where you can see it. I think we go back so far. It's pretty detailed. Tells you everything. There you go. They got exploded views of everything and differentials and shocks. I won't go through that very well though. Don't need to. But it comes with these metal back stickers. You get two velcro straps. They don't have any loops in them, which I think is weird. That's okay. The accessory list that tells you all the stuff you can get with it. I didn't get, I don't know what this was. Oh, I can't tell what that is. This is the thing I crossed out right here. I didn't get the protective film for the bottom of the car. And the other piece, I don't know. I can't read it really. It looks like it says something about some kind of sticker. But you get your bag, it's got a pinion gear. The servo mount, uh, servo control arm, you even get a aluminum servo horn. Is there a 25 tooth? That's pretty cool. There's three plastic spare gears in here. It looks like there's a gasket back there behind that gear for some reason. It might be a motor shaft gasket or maybe a diff gasket. There's a bigger pinion and then you got plastic hubs. And then you got two pieces of double-sided tape looks like a 
what is this, a 2.5, 2, and 1.5 millimeter Allen head, and then a hex key wrench. I ordered this special. It is the 52 tooth steel spur gear. That's the smallest one they make for it. I ordered the upgrade motor mount so we can adjust from the top instead of from behind. And I ordered the bat wings. Hopefully, it's all worth it. And you get two little zip ties too with it also. But <coughs> the challenge says they want us to tell what we're going to use electronics wise. So let's push the car out of the way for a second. It's a good looking car in it. It does come with the lights and the exhaust too. I don't really need them, but we might hook them up. They're just going to stay lit up all the time though. If I hook them up, but we have some John BSR foams. We're probably gonna have to use these skinnier. What are they? 32 millimeter wide ones? Because I don't believe I'm going to be able to use these other ones. These are 45 millimeter wide. I was going to use them in the rear. Hopefully, we'll find out. Stuff happens. We got a Castle Mamba Monster X 8S. That's going to be the ESC we use. I have a custom built 13,600 UF 16 volt capacitor. Because we're not going to go higher than 4S. There's no reason. 8mm terminals and I have adapters for my IC5 or XT90 batteries. I got a 40mm fan for the motor in case I need it. We're going to use this AGFRC servo. It's a low profile 19 kilogram brushless cordless servo. And we got a Castle 1412 6400 KV censored with a 5 millimeter shaft. And then if I need it, I got this 3300 UF 16 volt capacitor. For the receiver just to make sure it don't lose signal for any reason or power or we're going to use a dumbo rc with a gyro uh there's all the schematics for the servo you already know about that i don't know if i need to tell you any details about that this motor though i haven't seen a lot of people use this is supposed to be for drag racing so, and then we have a 45 tooth for the 5 millimeter shaft. Well, if it goes on there, but I got the Allen key for down right now. Uh, that's it. A couple stickers. It comes with an AGFRC 25 tooth. I think the one that come with this was a 23 tooth, wasn't it? No, it is a 25 tooth. And then all the little bushings and stickers and stuff. I got dual fans. I don't know exactly how I'm going to set it up yet. But that is what we are going to use. Um, I don't, if I can start out with the gear, spur gear that's in here. And the 5mm bore gear that I have already. I'll do that. If not, I'm going to have to go right off to the 52 in that bore. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to run this motor on 2S and 3S though. And I'll say that's about it. I don't know if we can handle 4S. Maybe if we have to. If that's what it takes to win. We'll push push it. But I don't think that we're going to have to do that. But there's our wheels. And there's the fatties. For the back. There's our car, guys. Next time you'll see it, it'll be all put together. You guys have a good night. God bless you.